So you join me for another look back into FIFA 10. My name's Ash and this is a deep dive look into the set piece creator of FIFA 10. So welcome along everyone, I hope you're all doing really well. Thank you so much for choosing to watch this video today. I'm Ash and in this series we're continuing our look for FIFA 10. Now for those of you who haven't checked out my previous videos on FIFA 10, we looked at the gameplay, the kind of menus, the game modes, the career mode, etc. Please do go and check those ones out, as well as the one we've got on FIFA and on. We've got a whole retro FIFA series started and currently ongoing. We're going to look through a whole range of different FIFA versions. Today, we are going to take a closer look at a feature that I'm really, really excited about. It is the set piece creator, something new for FIFA 10. And as you can see here in the arena, what we didn't have in FIFA 09 that we spoke about in the FIFA 09 videos was when you are in the arena, you can actually press the select button and you'd be confronted with this menu. You can not only do one-on-one, -on -one, but you could do practice set piece, practice match, or this one right here, create set piece. And I thought, let's have a deep dive look into this today. And also, I guess a little bit of a vent to you guys, I'll be totally honest, because I don't see why we don't have this in FIFA 23. Why has this been removed? It's again, the hallmark for me of what EA do, which is take a good feature that people like and just remove it from the game. And it's never heard of again. So I wanna look through today what this is like, how well it works and whether or not it should still be here. So we're gonna go ahead and create a set piece and we can actually choose the region of which we want it. So we're gonna go ahead and create a corner. And I was thinking that I would like to kind of recreate a love train and see if we could actually do that. Something that of course, England kind of popularized in the 2018 World Cup, whether other teams did that before them, I'm not sure. But if we have a close look here, you actually get full control over every single player for a start. Now, it's worth mentioning that at this moment in time, we're not controlling their movement, we're controlling their starting positions. So let's do this. What we're going to have is we're going to have four players get in a row round about here, which is pretty typical of the love chain. They line up really on the edge of the box. We're actually only going to keep one man back because what we want is we want one player kind of already crowning out the six yard box and then we want another player really i guess marking the keeper and picking up any loose balls that he can so we're going to have him round about here so in this case we're going to push this guy on the edge of the box up to about here um we'll go about there and then we'll push this defender up to about here so it's going to be it's going to be fairly risky and then we're going to move this guy a little bit closer to the corner take see if we can drag someone out right so this is their starting positions now you must then be wondering how on earth do we kind of create this movement well what you can do here is you see at the bottom left we see record slash stop which is a circle button so what we can do we're hovering over this player we can record his movement so if you press circle we can now record and we can record where he goes so in that case we press stop now and that is going to be his run so we're going to go ahead and do it for these four here so in this case this guy we want peeling off to the back post which we've done there then we'll swap to this one here uh, we are going to have him peeling off to the back post but we're going to have a little bit more of a funkier run he's going to come in around about there and then with this guy, we're going to have the same going to the front post, but more of a funkier run. So he's going to go there. So those are the runs. You can see the run paths there. Now, what we can actually do here within this is we can actually test. So if we press X, we can test. So what you'll notice is before we go into this is that the runs will be triggered after the player has put his arm down. So he'll put his arm up as they do in real life. Very, very good or realistic put his arm up to signify that the run's coming. When his arm goes down, that's when they will instigate their runs. So we're going to go in and test this one. We're going to look to go near post. You'll see his arm goes down, and that's when they fling it. And we go there. Oh, very, very close. That was really, really good. We crowd out that near post a little bit more. Um, so let's have, another, let's have another go at that. See if we can get the near post going in this case. So we'll press X again to test it. And his arm goes down away we go and there it is and there is the goal absolutely brilliant we've got a player on the near post all works perfectly and that is absolutely fantastic see how easy was that 
really. And this is just such a fantastic feature that it really does boggle my mind why we don't have this in the game. What we can then do with this is we can click save and we can assign it to a D-pad. So in this case, we'll just go for the up D-pad. And what will then happen now is we can now name it. So in this place, we're going to go love train. And what's going to happen now is in a real game, as you can see here, we have the option to use created set piece. So we can use this D-pad, press up for the love train, and it's going to load that up. And then all of a sudden, we can use it. You'll see the runs are going on, and there it is. Absolutely perfect. Likewise, you can also do this for free kicks within the final third only. Um, and you can do this from any areas in this. So if we want to kind of get going on this corner of more direct free kick, we can do exactly the same there. Maybe you want something where we can lay it off short to him and go from there, and you want second and third man runs. You can do that with this direct free kick. And if you want to practice the set piece, you can do that in the arena. We press the select button again. We click on practice set piece. We go on corner kick, this time side on the right, because that's where we did, of course, create our set piece routine. Advance. And then from there, what we can do is, as you can see, we can use this created set piece and set up the love train nice and easy. So I want to know what you guys think about this. Why, in your opinion, do you think this was removed? Why don't we have it now? How much would you use it if it was an option? Does it really matter to you or not? For me personally, I think that in this day and age where set pieces are just so hard to make anything out of in FIFA and the players, the AI just aren't very intelligent. They don't kind of position themselves or make the run. Sometimes you don't have the right players in the box. This would allow you to do that, give you the ultimate control and something that we just didn't, just don't have, don't have in FIFA 23 now. So I'm at a loss really as to why this isn't in FIFA 23 and all of the recent FIFAs in general for that matter. Make sure to hit me up in the comment section down below and I really will appreciate it if you want to get more access to lots of fantastic videos on FIFA, retro FIFAs. Hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to get notifications every time I upload. And the best way of all to support the channel is by following me and supporting me on Patreon. The link is down below. Lots of fantastic perks and rewards on there. And I want to say a massive thank you to all of my patrons who are allowing me to make this a thing and allowing me to kind of do the content that I want to do and not have to worry about views and ad revenue and all that sort of thing. You guys are keeping this going and allowing me to really enjoy this. So thank you so much to all of you who are kindly supporting me. With that being said, we're going to round it off there. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. And until the next one, I will see you soon.